I am so excited. It is nearly one of my favourite days of the year, St. Patrick's Day. So come on, Jake, where are we broadcasting from this week? Oh, about St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. I kind of forgot about it. How could you forget? I was on the Guinness at the time. Oh, you're an absolute nightmare. Okay, so where are we doing the show from this week? Well, somewhere remotely Irish, I'm hoping. Kind of. It's got a bit of an Irish twist. Okay. Irish people come in here yeah. all the time. Viva Brazil on the beautiful Castle Street. Jeez, I'm not Irish at all. Oh, we better have a good show live. It's up. a brilliant show. Okay, We've got Claire Sweeney talking about sex in suburbia. Okay. Uh, two big massive events that you could be involved in in this city. News on that. A big prize with Viva Brazil yeah. and the Beatles story. And, and lots of Brazilian meat. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I can let you off then. But can we squeeze in some Irish music as well? I think we could do ah, that. Yes. Yeah. This Why is not? the guide with Jay and Ellie. Your show for your city. Right here on Bay TV Liverpool. Shall we do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome to The Guide on Bay TV Liverpool with Jay and Ellie. Your weekly music fix, your weekly gig fix, events, we cover it all. It's your show for your city. Yes, we do. And although Num Nuts here forgot St. Patrick's Day was yeah. coming up, we have a fantastic venue for this week's show. We are here at the beautiful Viva Brazil on Castle Street. I love the food in here. Can you hear that meat sizzling? Yeah, I can, smell can you smell that? Look, it's amazing. Looking forward. You love Brazilian meat, don't you? Can't go wrong with a bit of Brazilian meat. No. <laughs> uh, coming up in the show, I chat to Claire Sweeney about sex. Suburbia. Your type of interview, yes. that. Uh, as well, I go training. I'm going to the gym to meet Rossi and Jay McFay from Box on the Docks. Yeah, but you don't go training, Jay. You went to the gym, you loitered around the vending machine, yeah. and you interviewed the lads as they went training. I suppose I did do me back in, though. Done myself an injury. My Mars bar got stuck in the vending machine. I had to give it a proper shove. Killing. Anyway, me. guess what's happened during the title? Go on, you've got Brazilian meat. Obviously. Yeah. We have found some Irish music. Ooh. Well, actually, we found some music courtesy of an incredibly talented Irish musician ahead of Threshold Festival. Dave O'Grady is with us. Dave, take it away. And I'm a part of the loss, you see, trying to find myself some peace. And I've been lost a long time before, cause the keys that I had could only lock the door. And through the darkest hills and to the edge of pain You'll hear the screams of mine and the pictures it'll paint We dragged ourselves down the aimless path Just you and me to hear more from that Irish superstar very soon. He's going to be playing Threshold Festival at the end of the month and we're chatting to him later. Look at you. Irish accent and she goes insane. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> My God, help anyone out on St. Patrick's Day if Ellie Phillips is out, which you will be, no yes, doubt, on the Guinness. Yes, I will. Yes, looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> uh, as well, we've got a huge competition to tell you about. Four festivals in the city. Mm. You could win a headline spot at all of them. Out on stage 2015, details very soon. But first, let's send Jay into the unknown. To him, a place of darkness, a world of confusion, a frontier to which he's never ventured to before. This is what happened when we sent Jay to the gym. 
Yes, thank you, Ellie Phillips. I am at the gym, but not to train, thankfully. Uh, but these two lads are. We're talking about Box on the Docks. You've heard us talk about this on the show for weeks. It's happening this Saturday at the Titanic Hotel. Rossi from Radio City, Jay McVeigh from Fazakali 9. How's it going in training? You're ready for this now, aren't you? Almost ready, almost there. Nearly ready to rumble Saturday night. Best of friends all the year round, Saturday night, sadly, best of enemies. And for Zachary Knight, it is a huge charity. Now, you founded this charity. Just, just tell us the backstory, because it's well, important. Back in, back in 2000, in October 2010, James was murdered in uh, Liverpool. And obviously, since James was gone, I just thought, I've got to do something to try and create a lasting legacy in James' memory. And the plans are to try and rejuvenate a park behind the, the house. Brilliant. In the park. Um, obviously, we've done a video to try and promote this, me and Simone. And if we play that on the night, see if we can try and attract some more interest. Well, hopefully with this night with Box on the Docks, which is this Saturday, by the way, um, and, and tables, are, are they still available for this event? There's very limited seats available, okay. so they do need to tickets to either go on Radio City's website or on the Cash for Kids, or you can ring the tower up directly and Carol, I'm sure, will yeah. gladly take your money. And that's Carol from Cash for Kids. Tell us about Cash for Kids. We all know Cash, Cash for, for kids, kids in the city, it's amazing. Yeah, you've done your bit for a while. You worked at Radio City, it's basically doing as much charity work and having fun at the same time and just raising money. And well, what do you do to, to prepare for this? Do you, do you we can't, we can't possibly fight? train in come front on, of each other. No, 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 no. Tactics right. have got to be kept, ah. you, know, you know. OK, teach me some moves afterwards. All right. I'll teach you some moves <laughs> afterwards, yeah? <laughs> yeah? I'll teach you some moves on the dance floor and the Titanic <laughs> after I've done the fight, Jay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Box on the docks this Saturday uh, for Cash for Kids and for Zachary and I and Rossi and Jay. Enjoy. Be good. Play nice. Thank, Thank you. you to everyone at Nuffield's gym. Thank you. Cheers. Ellie. Oh, sorry, I was still in shock from Jay being in the gym. But Saturday is going to be absolutely incredible. So good, in fact, that we are going to be bringing you next Thursday's episode from Box on the Docks. Loads of celebs, of course, the big fight, and lots of great music from the Valentine's Three and Dominic Dunn. It's going to be a good one. Talking of music, something huge happening in the city uh, is out on stage. Now, the Michael Causa Foundation, which we all know about, um, are behind this incredible night. You could win a huge prize if you're a musician. Stu Fitzgerald, CEO, of the Michael Causa Foundation. Nice to meet you. Firstly, Stu, just tell us about the Michael Causa Foundation. Michael Causa Foundation was set up in 2009 after Michael was uh, savagely beaten and murdered in Heighton. He'd gone to a party uh, in a house after some drinks at a pub, uh, beaten up when people realised he was gay. He was 18 years of age, five foot four, six and a half stone, and left for dead in the street. Nine days later, his parents turned off his life support machine. The foundation was established in his memory because his parents didn't want a simple plaque on a wall. They wanted to help educate, motivate and accommodate young LGBT people, young gay people. It's just, and we all know this story, we've all seen it. It's such a tragic, tragic story. But I've worked with this foundation for, for a while now. Yeah. Really something positive has come out of this, if, if I can say that. It, it really has, because it is helping a lot of people in this city, isn't it? Absolutely. There's still too many suicides in the city from young people who find that they're gay. There's still too much uh, hate crime. There was a hate crime reported on Merseyside once a day all of last year. 360 LGBT hate crimes. We've got to stamp it out. We've got to educate people. We've got to stop the bigotry. Billions. We, we love that and we love what's happening. Yeah, um, we do. Something you, great like you said, it turned yeah. into something really positive as parents. And uh, out of that has come out on stage, hasn't it? Absolutely. Tell us a bit about out on stage because Jay and I have been involved with it for the past two years. Jay hosted yeah. it. I've been on the panel, but it's getting bigger each year, isn't it? Bigger and better this year. We've uh, For the first time, we've got an employee, that's me. Yeah. And we've got somebody <laughs> who can commit themselves full-time to, to actually deliver in the event. We're working with very closely with Lipper. Yeah. The event's going to be staged over four nights, three semi-finals and a final. The semi-finals will be Wednesday 15th, 22nd, 29th of April. The 7th of May will host the grand final. Yeah. This will all happen at Constellations on Greenland Street. The prize is unbelievable, yeah, Ellie. The prize, the prize is fantastic. So people will get to perform at three of the biggest festivals in Liverpool this year. So Lymph, Liverpool International Music Festival, Liverpool Loves, Liverpool Pride, headline spots in all those places. We're talking to Sound City, no confirmation yet. <laughs> a recording <laughs> session, yeah, hope Come so, Dave. City. <laughs> hope so, Dave. A recording session at Park Street Studios as well, free of charge, Brilliant. all thrown in the hat. Who knows where we might go with Guy TV if you can offer something uh, to order. Yeah. Of course, we can throw in a yes. performance on this very show. So if you enter and you win, uh, you'll get two performance slots on the guide right here on Yes, Beatles. you will. So, so how can fantastic. people get involved with that on stage? Okay, have a look at us on Twitter, Michael Causa Foundation. Um, have a look at us in terms of Facebook, 
get onto the website, have a look at the video on the Hitler Causa Foundation website as well. Contact us, there's an apply now page, apply online and uh, drop us an email. And people can get tickets for the event as well. Yes, obviously. we're going to put all details for this to run out of time on our Twitter page, at The Guide, Bay TV, check it out, Out On Stage is here. Okay, we're back after the break, what's going Yes, on? we are, I will be chatting Sex in Suburbia with Claire Sweeney. And some great music. Calm down, you. He's Irish. He's brilliant. <laughs> His name's Dave O'Grady. Stu from the Michael Causa Foundation. Thank you. Thanks, we'll be Dave. back after this. Thank you. just looks amazing, doesn't it? We've got a show to do. Oh, wait, wait sorry. Um, um, sorry. Welcome back to The Guide with Jay and Ellie. Uh, your weekly fix of all that's happening in your region and your city. Everything from music to comedy, theatre to nightlife, we cover the lot. And we've even got Brazilian meat. We're here at Fever Brazil on Castle Street. Can we have that back at the end of the show? Thank you. That looks amazing. You could be here too. A big Viva Brazil and the Beatles story. Yes. Uh, they've combined to create a great competition for you a little bit later. Uh -huh. um, things going on. Paloma so Faith. Going on, yeah. She's in town at the Echo. Arena 24th of March. Johnny Marr from, um, from the Smiths is coming to town very soon and the Hummingbirds have announced a big gig end of March. They're on the show next week. Yeah, and something else at the end of March is, of course, Threshold, the music festival that celebrates grassroots music, takes over the Baltic Quarter and it's going to be at the end of March and it's going to be such a good lineup this year that we are going to be bringing you a Threshold special here on The Guide. Full 60 minutes, looking forward yes. to that. Um, as well, tomorrow is my least favourite day of the year. Friday the... Mm -mm. I'll what? be wrapped up in cotton wool tomorrow. <laughs> Friday the 13th. <laughs> Bought tickets for my other least favourite thing in the world. It's so scary. Barmageddon. It's back, bigger and better and even scarier how that's possible. I'll never know uh, than before. Tickets on sale Friday the 13th at the Echo Arena. Yeah, Friday the 13th. Uh, other things are going on in the city. At the Empire, the classic musical Anything Goes, is sailing into town on the 16th of March. That'll be there until the 21st. And then from the 21st of March, for all you Shakespeare lovers, a Midsummer Night's Dream is going to be at the Everyman Theatre until the 18th of April. And not long now no. until the sound of horses galloping, the smell of freshly cut grass, and fake tan scattered in puddles <laughs> all over Aintree. The Grand National is back. Amazing. And Grand Opening Day. Uh, it's massive, the massive. lineup for this. The yeah. Christians are playing. The stars of The Commitment, Brilliant. which is brill. And uh, you've seen X Factor yep. and The Jungle. I had trouble saying his name. Jake Quillenden? <laughs> Quindenden. Quindenden. Yeah. <laughs> he will be performing at the Grand Opening Day of Aintree's Grand National this Lad year. Lad rags at the ready. You better order some fake tan for that yeah. too. Can't wait for that and can't wait for this. Tuppence Across the Mersey, uh, the local play, all based on a true story, is coming to the Epstein Theatre and it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm going next week and it's going to be there for a full more weeks to come. And something else in town, mm. sex in suburbia. <laughs> this is one for the ladies, this is what happened when our dirty ticket here and Claire Sweeney got together to talk things that happen in the bedroom. Yes. So we are at the beautiful Floral Pavilion in New Brighton because Sex in Suburbia is on tonight. In fact, they're setting up in the auditorium right now, so we're outside. Uh, but don't worry if you've missed it this time. It's coming back to Liverpool to the Empire Theatre at the end of March for a couple of dates. But before she goes on tonight, we thought we'd grab the star of the show, Miss Claire Sweeney, to have a little chat. Claire, how are you? I'm good, Ellie. Thank it's you. good to see you, and it's good to see you looking so well. So Sex in the Suburbia, tell us. Tell us all about it. Okay, it's, it starts off, I was doing a show called Tell Me on a Sunday, right. which is a one-woman um, show. It's an Andrew Lloyd Webber show, and it's about a woman looking for love in all the wrong places. Okay. And it was kind of the mirror image of my life oh, at the no. time. <laughs> I was going on loads of disastrous dates, and, oh, God, I get myself into all sorts of situations. And I used to tell my producer, and he used to laugh his head off. Yeah. And he said, Claire, you've got to start writing these stories down. He said, they're brilliant. Yeah. He said, start writing them down. So I did. He said... I'm going to commission you to do a show. Oh, okay. So I said, okay, well, I don't, I don't want to write on my own. So I decided to write with my friend Mandy Muden, who's a right. comedian, magician. Yeah. And we started writing together. And two years later, and a lot of hard work, we got a show. So two years on, is that, that's how long it took two to write this? That's crazy. Because she was working on cruises, and I was off on tours right. with different shows. It was a case of getting together when we could yeah. and um, making it happen. And, and how did you know when it was finished, when it was ready to go on theatre? <laughs> 
we didn't <laughs> we, it was just kind of a deadline and then when we had a script together we thought well we don't know if it's funny we're funny in our front room after a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc yeah. but are we going to be funny <laughs> in front of 2,000 women every night and thankfully it was you know they, they liked it yeah so those who don't know what is the story behind it what happens in the show well what it was it was just a series of sketches and funny things that had happened like one of my mates was married to this really big like rugby type bloke okay well I like them uh, yeah <laughs> Well, she, she did as well and lovely Irish fell and she comes home and she sees him dancing around the front room in her raw raw skirt and I was like a big rugby player yeah rah, yeah rah, yeah, rah, yeah. Okay. and she said and he just laughed it off and pretended it was a joke and I went do you get it now like 10 years on 15 years on she said yeah no now it was all wrong but we thought, okay, well, let's look into this. What would happen? You'd think the relationship would be over. So yeah. I started research researching women who live with cross-dressing men. Yeah. And there was loads of happy couples. And I thought, who loved it? Yeah. So we've written this really funny story about a woman who hates her husband. He's misogynist. He's oh. sexist. And he's called Mike. She comes home. She finds him in a frock. And he's called Audrey. Okay. But she prefers Audrey to Mike. Oh, wow, okay. Right? She, every Wednesday, Audrey bouffants her hair, paints her nails, Empress Red. They watch the British Bake Off together, <laughs> and they have a ball, and Audrey saves their marriage. That sounds absolutely and amazing. It's a beautiful love story, actually. It's quite touching. That it sounds really good. So, in Sex and Suburbia, you start as a, a relationship expert on the radio show. So, um, I got some of my mates to let me know some of their dramas, and they asked me, to get Claire Sweeney to give them some ah. advice. So this is Claire Sweeney Says. So my mate Natalie is off to Ladies Day, it's coming up with all the girls. Now her mate's fella has now decided that all the lads are gonna go as well. As much as Natalie loves a fella, she really, really wants a girl's day out. She doesn't want the boys around, so what should she do? Just avoid him. <laughs> I mean, I've been na the national, it's massive, isn't it? There's thousands of thousands of people. You could easily get lost. Okay. And you know, if you see him, just hide. Yeah, hide. Big just hats. Hide. Duck. Big hats, hide. Get amongst another gang of blokes, he won't notice you, you know. Just keep Just up. don't let him catch you with yes. another gang of blokes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's a big one. Okay, great. So, okay, the next one is my mate Phil. He's met an absolute stunner online. The problem is she's a solicitor and she's quite well to do. He's not, but he's told her that he's a trainee doctor. He's actually a trainee brickie. The first date is next week. What should he do? Kill it with kindness. Aww. Kill it with humour. Women love someone who can make them laugh. Yeah. Okay, he might not be a solicitor, but you know what? He can make that into a really funny... He can just be vulnerable as well. Yes. If he can just say to her, look, I didn't think I was up to your standard, you know, yeah. and I really like you, and I wanted to... I, you know, I didn't want you to knock me back. Just give me a chance. Let's Aww. have a day. I work hard. Yeah. You know, be honest. Be up front, be honest, and just be, be lovely and charming and funny with her. Okay, big well into Claire Sweeney and all the team at Sex in Suburbia. Yes. Definitely one for the ladies, I'm thinking. Looks yeah, like it a was good really show, good fun. Uh, so I messed up the location for our St. Patrick's Day show. Yes, you did. From here at Viva Brazil. People sitting over eating tea, very <laughs> excited, especially the little ones, uh, because Dave O'Grady's with us. Yes, Dave O'Grady is with us. But first, before we chat to Dave, we need to tell you about this week's competition. How do you fancy winning a £50 voucher to spend here at Viva Brazil on Castle Street and two tickets to The Beatles Story? Well, all you need to do is follow us on Twitter at the Guide Bay TV. Find the picture of Jay and I scoffing our faces with Brazilian wheat and give that a retweet. Simple, at the Guide Bay TV. Lots of music and entertainment yeah. news on there as well, so check it out and give us a follow and a retweet. So, St. Patrick's Day is coming. We found a great musician. He happens to be Irish and he's doing massive things. Dave O'Grady, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So you've just signed for a massive, massive that's record company in America, haven't you? Yeah, well last year, yeah, we, we signed in or I signed up in February last year and we've been kind of working a lot since then. You know, it's been it's been really busy, but it's really been cool and we're we're nearly we're nearly at the end of the tunnel. And where can people hear your music? Um everywhere I suppose. Online, Facebook, can we Twitter, stalk YouTube, you a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> Just, I suppose Google Dave O'Grady, it's um, like the first thousand results. Maybe. Something you do have planned, another bit, uh, gig coming up, is uh, Threshold Festival, of course. Yeah, I'm doing Threshold Festival on the 29th, which I think is the Sunday. Yep. Um, at the Constellations. Brilliant. Venue. It's a great, great venue yeah, there. Threshold's always been, I've played every Threshold bar one, which I'm devoted about, but you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm good friends with Chris and Kaya, who, you know, it's their brainchild. Yeah. 
always get me down to play. It's always nice. Well, new album you're working on this. You're about to go on, on tour in America as well. That's yeah. exciting, Dave. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. I spent, you know, I did on tour for six or seven months in America and Europe last year, wow. and this year we're going back in May. The album should be out in you know, around um, end of autumn. Brilliant. Well, listen, we're going to let you go up. You're going to perform for us right now, okay? Yes. So go and get yourself sorted. Uh, looking forward to hearing from yeah. Dave O'Grady. Uh, what a great show it's been at Fever Brazil. Great show, but that's all we've got time for, sadly. You can find us at The Guide Bay TV. Give us a follow there and tell your mates that your show for your city is here every Thursday, 8.30pm. Okay, we are back next week. Basically, Saturday is Box on the Docks. Uh, Rossi versus Jay McVeigh at the Titanic Hotel. Watch what happens there. We're bringing you the full show from there on Thursday, 8.30pm, yes. when Jay and Ellie are back with yes. the guide. It's going to be good. It's been a good one. Check our competition out. Tell your mates we're here. And right now, um, we will take it away with Mr. Dave O'Grady. We'll yep. take it away? Yes, we we'll will. We'll let Dave take it away. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Take Happy care. St. Patrick's Day for Tuesday. Dark and shadow stealing from my light Smiling face but dreaming red wine voodoo and Faceless creatures at my Pulling nails and trying to tie me down with ropes made from those who fell before. If I could line them on a wall and take my Take my